Although the video is taken from above, I'm rotating it along the Y and X axis, and you can see that I can uh, do a side view using photogrammetry for 3D modeling. If you have a drone with a decent camera, you can use it to create a 3D model of your home or your property or both. This is called photogrammetry. You can program your drone to fly back and forth over your property, and as it flies, you have it take a series of overlapping still photos. To create a 3D model, you want at least 100 photos or more. The more photos used, the better the resolution. Then you take those photos into one of several photogrammetry programs, and the program stitches them together to create the 3D model. The program I use is called Meshroom, and it's free and open source. Obviously, they would appreciate donations to help the creators update their design. I used my DJI drone to create about 100 overlapping JPEG photos above and around my house, and then dropped them into Meshroom. Actually, I shot the photos manually by first moving to the start location snapped an image, and then moved ahead a short distance to create overlapping images. Once you have your photos, you copy the folder and then paste them into Meshroom, and it will immediately analyze each photo to determine which ones will work with the software. Of the 100 photos, about 15 of them were not acceptable. Once that analysis is done, you can press the Start button to start the stitching. If you have a fast computer with less than 200 photos, this can take about 20 minutes to complete, and you can watch the display as it's rendering the images. When it's done, you immediately save the file and then view the finished 3D model in Meshroom. Next, to view and manipulate it correctly, you'll need to move it into a 3D graphics design program like Blender. Although the video is taken from above, I'm rotating it along the Y and X axis, and you can see, and then that's the Z axis, and there's underneath, very cool. So that's a 3D model, and I could zoom in and uh, do a little more rotation. Obviously, it, it looks broken up because it doesn't have enough photos. Blender happens to be free and open source, so it's best if you install Blender before you download Meshroom so you can open the finished 3D model file in Blender for manipulation, like zooming in and rotating in every direction. Below are a few stills of the 3D model I created using a series of photos taken above my home, which included parts of my neighbor's homes. I include four views, and they look very cool. Resource links. Blender Open Source 3D Graphics Program. It's at blender.org. And then Meshroom Open Source 3D Photogrammetry Program from Alice Vision. It's at alicevision.org. If you like what you see, please subscribe.